Hey there, I'm David Lovin 67 I'm just hanging out at my studio. I'm not too good with the vlog thing, I haven't known what to do with it, but I figure I might as well give it a try. I like vlogs, I like to watch them, I love what people have to say, and if I find good vlogs on YouTube, and I often do, I watch them. Amazing Atheist is my favorite. He's the best. And for being a young guy, he sure has a lot to say, and I'm pretty impressed. I don't have as much to say, but at this point, I figure I have nothing to lose. I'm going to turn 43 soon, so I just don't care. Um, I drink and smoke and take yoga and they drink and smoke in the movies, so I don't see why I can't do it on YouTube. I don't know if you are even allowed to do it on YouTube or not. So it's just too bad, because I'm a smoker. I'm a nasty, dirty smoker. And I could give a flying fuck. Uh, I like this bunny icon. That's pretty cute. We'll just leave him up there for a while. I like to mix the drudgery of my face getting old and all that with something cute people seem to like that there's a lot of cuteness in America as you know everyone needs to have something cute around them all day long and you can't really talk about serious subjects or anything uh, I hope my voice is picking up I'm sure it will so hey uh, drinking some Miller High Life I do yoga in the afternoons or mornings and I like to sip on some beer at night just as a muscle relaxant. Plus I found that booze is really helpful with my painting and I shouldn't be drinking and doing lots of exercise but I, I, I stop drinking and then I can't paint. There's something about getting into that drunken dream world that makes paintings ever so good. So I hope you are enjoying the bunny. I have lots of things on my mind. I don't know if anybody is interested in what I have to say at all. I don't want to embarrass myself. Probably already am. like it really matters. I need a timer on this video. I don't want to do too long. I've had conflict about being a YouTube vlogger. Is that something I really want to get into? Okay, I have two YouTube channels, the Kirk Indy Solo Spock, and I made 314 videos on that one and that's still getting hits it's up to about 270,000 then I got the new channel the David Lovin 67 and that has about 20,000 hits on it and hey I'd love to get lots of hits on my new channel the old one is just gonna keep going up and up I don't have access to it anymore Not nothing I can do about that But I've made all kinds of videos, and I know what people watch on YouTube, at least out of my videos, usually has something to do with some cute girl that I film around San Francisco. That's what they like to watch. I've made videos with my art, things that I've worked really hard on, and hardly anyone watches that. So, but I know what I have to do. To get people to watch my videos, it's just <laughs> put a song there that people like. I'm laughing my ass off recently with my Alice finds some spanking tools video. Got like 250 hits in one day. 
because they're just pervs around the world. They like that stuff. So I even know what kind of videos to make to get people to watch them. But I like to make stuff that I like to do. And no one watches those, but that's okay. I'll keep doing that. Every once in a while, I'll do kind of a popular kind of video. Just make some silly music video thing that I know people will watch because they like the song or something. It's pretty easy to do. It's no mystery to get hits on YouTube. You just make tons of videos, and they pop up in searches, and eventually people watch them. It's all you got to do. There's no secret to it. It has nothing to do with you as a person. You just put up tons of stuff, and chances are one of them are is going to be watchable that people like. My yoga teacher sees this, she'll probably, well, they all know that I smoke. You can probably smell it on me. Hey, there's a kitty cat. Um, so I'm going into this whole Alice in Wonderland thing, having seen Tim Burton's Alice Goes to Middle Earth. Uh, that's pretty much what the movie ended up being. Uh, one message about women who talk about their cats is it scares everyone away. Uh, if I date a girl and she talks about a cat, Seriously, I probably don't want to go out with her too much if her talking about a cat is her primary interest. Okay, that's enough damage for now. Maybe I'll do this again. Maybe. Nah, I like to vlog. It's fun.